Rick from FightBig.com. What's up, everybody? I want to talk about tomorrow's fight. Klitschko is fighting John Mark Mormick. I'm not going to get into crazy big details about it. I think Klitschko is way too big. This guy's like a cruiserweight. David Hay already beat him. So I think Mormick, does he have a puncher's chance? Yeah, it's boxing, even though he's a lot lighter. We all seen that happen with Vlad before. He was knocked out back in the day a few times. Sometimes he tires, but I think he's going to just Unless his shoulder gets hurt like his brother Vitaly's or something like this, he's going to get a knockout. I think uh, Mormack is going to be knocked out within seven rounds. And if it goes past that, more power to Mormack for hanging in there. I mean, the guy's clearly outweighed. Uh, Vlad Klitschko is just way too big. It's going to go down in Germany. I don't know where it's going to be televised. It's, it's Friday right now. I'll have this podcast out later. Vlogcast, sorry. So let's play Klitschko wins this fight. That's my prediction. Klitschko takes Mormack out. KO, TKO within seven rounds. All right, dudes? Um, I want to talk about, I was thinking of something that's bothering me. Here you have, uh, again, I got to beat this like a drum, but it's Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather is not going to happen. I've been saying that for a long time. All right? So what you have is bullcrap pay-per-views. I was thinking to myself, wow. So Floyd Mayweather is having a May 5th pay-per-view. He's going to fight, as you all know, Miguel Cotto. And on the undercard, the big sale here is the undercard, along with the pay-per-view with Floyd versus Cotto, is Cinnamon Alvarez, right? He's fighting a 40-year-old Shane Mosley. And I thought to myself, wow, Shane Mosley, Pacquiao beat him. Um, Floyd Mayweather is fighting Cotto, Pacquiao beat him. So Floyd Mayweather is trying to make it appear like he's twittering all these things out. And I've seen some interview where he says he really doesn't tweet him, but he does tweet him. He's just twisting everything up on purpose. By the way, the stuff that I tweet out and the stuff that's on fightbig.com, I'm not responsible for any of this. My assistant, who is my sister, does everything. And a couple of friends. That's just a lie, who cares, right? I'm, I'm small, but Floyd's just basically copping out. So if anything he tweets, he's not responsible for. And anyway, he's going on. He said that, I, I read some things that uh, allegedly said that uh, Kodo's a fresh guy. He's a, he's a, basically an undefeated fighter. Come on, it's all hogwash. Kodo's got a lot of miles on him. The first fight, with Antonio Margarito, Cotto lost. Yeah, all right, he cheated. But uh, it was a close fight with the older Mosley Cotto had. He took a shellacking in the Margarito the first fight. He got hit a lot by a slow plotting Margarito in his second fight, the rematch, which Cotto did win. Yes, he did win. And this Pacquiao, like I predicted, destroyed Cotto. He put a beating on him, and you all know what happened. I don't really gotta get into it. My point is, Floyd Mayweather is in Pacquiao's graveyard right now. He's fighting the ghosts that Pacquiao created as far as fighting goes. So you got a big pay-per-view and it's all on top of, a, of guys that Pacquiao already beat. We got a washed up, I hate to say this because I love Shane Mosley, I hope he stops fighting, but we, we got a, a, a old Shane Mosley, a 40 year old version of Shane who possibly might win because Alvarez is not all that. I'll talk about that before the fight, I'll give you a prediction on that. Um, and we got an old Miguel Cotto. When I say old, yeah, physically, I mean age-wise, yeah. Cotto age-wise is not that old. But Miles in the ring, he's really old. He's been hurt, he's been stopped. Floyd is still fresh. He was hurt in the second round with Shane Mosley, recovered nicely. And, and guess what? Cotto has a puncher's chance, they're selling that. I was watching Roy Jones versus uh, Tarver this weekend, you know, I, I tweeted that out, you know, and it got me thinking, wow, is, is Floyd Mayweather going to be a guy that turns 35? He's 35 now, Floyd. That's a big deal. Floyd Mayweather, 35, he's a speed reflex fighter, but he shows that he can stand and fight and trade with you now. He's got those skills, so he's not on his legs all the time. So he will trade with Cotto. He'll stand right in front of Cotto, and Cotto will be missing like Victor Ortiz missed on, on the ropes. So he's going to be looking for that one punch. Cotto's going to probably have the plan to go to the body, because that's the plan I formulate on him. And he's going to have an A, B, and C plan, as every professional fighter should at that stage of the game, at that level of the game. Plan A, B, and C for Miguel Cotto. Body, body doesn't work. What is he going to do? Press, press, press. Hope Floyd may weather fatigues, which is not going to happen. I just don't see this fight as a pay-per-view fight. I'm sorry, guys, all right? I see this as a tune-up for Pac. That fight is not happening, though. Pacquiao's 33, Floyd's 35. 
Floyd is probably not going to fight Pac unless he really needs the money, and it's going to be a Tito Trinidad vs. Roy Jones Jr. scenario where these guys are done with their boxing careers. We've seen the best of these two, and they finally get in the ring at, at, at say, like Floyd's like 38 and Pac's like 36. I mean, it's ridiculous, and who's going to care by then? But the big fight is, here, here's the deal. If, 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 if Pacquiao, he's fighting a much better pay-per-view, as you know, if, if you've been watching, that's my opinion. The fresh, young Timothy Bradley, Pac's not young and fresh anymore, but he's still got the skills. It's going to be a really great fight, interesting fight, and he's taking the big chance here, in my opinion. That's the fight I want to see. That's the more exciting fight. I want to see them all. I won't buy Floyd Mayweather versus uh, Cotto. I'm editorializing myself because YouTube attention spans are just really, really low. Floyd Mayweather should be fighting Manny Pacquiao. They're not fighting, and you won't see this in MMA. You will not see two elite fighters in MMA not fight. I mean, uh, Chael Sonnen have, had Anderson Silver. Great epic fight. I mean, the guy was controlling. It was a great fight. They're going to rematch. We don't get these fights. If this went on in the UFC, it, it, it wouldn't fly. That guy Dana White and the matchmakers, whoever's over there, would never put up with this garbage that boxing serving us. Bullshit pay-per-views, we're getting ripped off. The boxing public is getting ripped off. So they're selling Cotto like he's a fresh young daisy that Floyd Mayweather is gonna have maybe, oh, some trouble with at some point, and maybe he's gonna get beat. But you don't realize, if, if you wanna see Cotto, you watch the last fight with Cotto versus Pacquiao. Hit pause, you don't wanna see Cotto in there on a pay-per-view main event big fight with Floyd Mayweather after you see that. And watch Pacquiao versus Cotto, all right? There's only one road. Floyd always says all roads lead to Floyd Mayweather. All the roads are there, they've been there. There's golden roads, there's the Wizard of Oz roads, there's, there's golden paths all to Floyd and Pac fighting and they're not gonna fight. They're not gonna fight. It sucks, boxing stinks. Boxing's killing itself, and I'm a sucker because I keep buying these pay-per-views, all right? I know you guys can identify. Then you feel like you wonder why after you order the Mayweather fight with Cody, you're going to feel like, I know I am, that I got my ass kicked again because I laid out about $50 to watch what I already know is going to happen, okay? I mean, really, Pac Bradley, that's the fight I feel more better about. Even if Pac wins, I did predict he'd win. It's going to be a great fight. I want to see an undefeated fighter fight him. The, 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 the chance is there that... Uh, Bradley can upset Pac and guess what if Pac looks horrible versus Bradley and he looks really bad and if he loses I guarantee you Floyd, Floyd will be on the phone looking to fight him if, if he loses and he gets hurt a lot Mayweather and Pacquiao somebody's ducking somebody I think that Pacquiao is just gonna retire from boxing real soon after Bradley if he doesn't fight Floyd there's no reason what does he got to prove after that so the real big fight for Floyd right now in my mind and I think Floyd won't fight him. Sergio Martinez, the bigger, natural middleweight, great skills. He's got Roy Jones-like pizzazz skills, hands. He's 37. He's fresh 37 because he started boxing late. And I think Mayweather doesn't want any challenges. I think Mayweather really, I tell you, he's a ring general. There's no hate. For some reason, everybody thinks that, like, I'm just a boxing fan. I'm just a boxing fan. There's no hate here. I love to see Floyd Mayweather pick dudes apart. I liked when he fought back in the day, Chico Corrales and Castillo. You know, this guy is a ring general. He took on some comp back in the days. As he got better, as he got bigger, he's got more protected. He's fighting all these Pacquiao graveyard ghosts, guys that Pacquiao already demolished. You got Floyd fighting on main pay-per-views and he's trying to act like like we're clueless. Yeah, the mainstream public is clueless when they turn on 24-7 or whatever they have, Cotto versus Mayweather. They're gonna think, oh, this Cotto guy's amazing. He's, he's just like, you know, he's a big deal because they don't really know what went on in the ring. They really don't know. They're, they're not gonna throw those clips in there if Cotto's getting his ass whooped by Pacquiao and Margarito over and over and struggling against Shane Mosley, an old Shane Mosley. That fight in my mind could've went either way. So they're gonna make Cotto out to be Superman and Floyd's gonna add to it so the boxing public, the mainstream people buy into all this hype so they could sell the fight. Bottom line, Floyd goes out to undefeated and he never fought Pac. Really, that's what everyone's gonna say for the rest of his life. It's gonna haunt him. Why didn't you fight Pack, dude? Why didn't you fight Pack, dude? Why didn't you fight Pack, dude? I'm not, why didn't you fight Pack, huh? Huh? Why didn't you fight Pack? If I was Floyd Mayweather and his people, I would be like, you know what? Dude, you might beat Pacquiao. Why don't you fight him? He's not gonna. It's a big joke. Really quick uh, recap, real quick on um, Devin Alexander versus Maidana. Devin Alexander looked really awesome. 
you do have to question that hard at some point. People were doing it with the Timothy Bradley ordeal, but he redeemed himself. He looked awesome. My Donna looked horrible going up in weight. He didn't carry that big power. Alexander looked sharp, really sharp. Great boxer. He's back in the game. He, he did good by himself. He has problems with boxers, my Donna. And, I, and I'm a big fan of him because I like the big puncher. And uh, he goes for it. But he looked really sluggish. He looked horrible. So Devin Alexander, props to him. He's back up. And we'll see what happens with him in the future. Uh, old school stuff right here. Remember this? I used to do this one here. I hit it. Peace, dudes.